YouTube and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to do an incredibly simple dish. Um, I make it in the crock pot. Um, it's actually one of my favorite frugal meals ever. Um, it's cabbage and uh, sausage or kielbasa um, with vegetables in the crock pot. Like it's, it's super simple, super easy, but it's got that warm like comfort food feel. Uh, good for fall days or winter days. However, it's going to be a heat index of 104 here in my kitchen. So, <laughs> well, maybe not in my kitchen, but outside. To start off, I just used two cups of um, chicken stock or chicken broth. And I just like to mix these things together so the flavors are well incorporated. I have three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Now, if you don't have apple cider vinegar, that's totally fine. You can use white vinegar. Um, I bet in a pinch, even like a red wine vinegar would be fine in this as well. There's not a whole lot in it compared to how much, um, how many vegetables, how much cabbage especially is in this dish. Now, I also have one tablespoon of garlic, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of paprika. And this is the part where I just kind of want to whisk it together so that way all those spices kind of mix into that liquid. The paprika is mainly just for color. So if you didn't have that, I don't think it would be missing a whole lot if you didn't have that in this dish. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my crock pot and I'm going to, now I have, <laughs> I'm also trying to use up all the things in my fridge before I go get more. Um, it's kind of a mini challenge I have to myself a couple times a year where I literally just want to empty my fridge, empty my pantry, I mean for the most part, so that way things don't go bad and they go in, like, in a good rotation. Um, if you had normal sized potatoes, I'd use four to three to four maybe, depending on the size. My potatoes were all very wimpy, and like I said, I'm trying to clean out my refrigerator, so I literally used all the potatoes I had left, just gave them a quick, um, like a rough chop, uh, dice, um, bite-sized pieces, that's what we're kind of looking for. Now, we do, or I'm using kielbasa in mine, and that is very salty, so remember that when this is all cooking in the same pot, that salt is going to release and obviously flavor your vegetables. But they're potatoes, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt so it kinda of gets a good flavoring there. Now I'm gonna add, I have one bag that's 16 ounces or a pound of those baby carrots. And I tried to chop some of them but then I just I felt like it didn't matter because they're pretty small. I also have half of a large onion. And I'm just going to kind of mix it all in there. Now for your cabbage. I've chopped up one whole head of cabbage but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit it all in there. So, <laughs> I just diced it up, chopped it up. Now cabbage will uh, shrink in size considerably. So even if you kinda of gotta cram that lid on there, that's gonna be okay. It will go down. And I like to do my layers in this way, so that way, the because the meat is already cooked. You know, when you buy smoked sausage or kielbasa from the store, it's already cooked. You're not really working on, you know, you don't want to be hazardous or anything. Um, you're just warming it up. And actually, you're, you're borrowing its flavor to kind of flavor all of this cabbage and the potatoes, all of that good stuff, so. That's why I kind of like to put it on last. And that way as it cooks, all of those juices from your Shaw sausage or, or kielbasa kind of uh, drop down right into your vegetables. Now at one point you do end up, you know, stirring it a few times. So all the flavors get pretty incorporated at that point. However, I digress. This is just how I do it. If you want to do it a different way, go right ahead. Okay. <clears throat> now 
Now for my mixture, I'm just gonna kind of whisk that around one more time. And I'm literally just gonna pour it right on top. Now there's tons of liquid in that cabbage, so it's gonna kind of borrow that liquid. All right, now I'm gonna put my lid on and I will let this cook, um, okay, either on low for, or, yeah, on low for six to eight hours or high for four to six, kind of the general rule of thumb when you're crock pot cooking. Um, this meal, I'm telling you, is so frugal, so cheap. Um, what I watch, I can get that kielbasa or sausage on sale, uh, two packages for $5. So essentially for a serving at, or for a meal to feed, I'd say this feeds about four. My husband and I eat on it at dinner and then we eat leftovers. So service of four for your meat portion is $2.50. That's not bad. I can pick up cabbage, you know, for a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five a head, depending on how uh, large the head is. And um, if it's on sale, an onion, you know, we're talking, <laughs> you know one onion and actually I only used half of an onion in this so we're talking pennies carrots I can get on sale or not on sale even I think just regular price for those baby carrots is 99 cents a pound and I bet you if you bought um, whole carrots and peeled them and chopped them yourself they'd be even cheaper potatoes I can pick up two five pound bags for yeah two five pound bags for five dollars so that's excuse me, 10 pounds for five bucks. We're talking like a few bucks here per serving, not even a dollar. I wouldn't even say, I need to do the math. I'm curious, I'm very curious. I'm telling you though, for this whole thing, for probably a meal of four, we're talking a few dollars. Not expensive, really good way to kind of stretch that budget, but also get something wholesome and hearty and kind of, you know, comfort food while you're trying to watch that budget. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna let mine hang out for eight hours simply because that's it's morning at this point and we're not gonna be eating until evening. So I will bring you back when it's time to plate this up. I should mention though that you should stir this a few times. You know, I, I understand if you're at work, but when you come home from work, stir it up. Um, that way those, those everything kind of gets combined well. All right, I will truly see you when it's time to plate this up. Okay guys, I'm back. My uh, sausage and cabbage and potatoes and carrots, they're all cooked up. It almost reminds me of a stew and truthfully though that cabbage in there, it almost reminds me of a noodle. Um, <laughs> I don't know, the kids might not care for this one but I love this. It's comfort food. I'm gonna serve it with some warm bread and butter and it is going to be delicious. My house smells wonderful. Um, if you guys like today's video, please give me a thumbs up and if you like what I do here Please uh, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos I hope you guys give this one a try. It's a super frugal meal very filling um, I don't know. I think you can't go wrong with this one. All right. I'll see you in the next one